Hey guys, I'm Nate. I'm Maud. He's American and I'm from Holland. And we are living our dream in this Ford Transit. This content is sponsored by Outdoorsy. Through Outdoorsy, you can rent your camper van out to make extra cash and you can rent a van to try van life before you commit. started traveling together and then I lived in Holland with her for three months. She came here, got stuck because of COVID. We decided we wanted to live together and build a van and follow our dream and this is what we got. We can't wait to show you around, so come check it out. Let's first talk about the layout. As you can see, we have a permanent bed, um, a lot of counter space. Of course, we want to maximize our space. So the first important thing we chose is not have a permanent shower. We chose to have a shower underneath this, hidden, because a counter space for us is very important. We love cooking, especially Nate. And uh, we can fold this up, but we will show you later. This is our kitchen space. Obviously, we've got a two burner, two burner propane stove here. Um, we've got a propane switch that we can turn on and off, so it controls a propane solenoid in the back. We'll show you the propane system later, but this is where we can do all our cooking, meal prep, and then the other thing that we really wanted to make sure was we had a big deep sink and a faucet so that we could do all of our dishes. One of my favorite things is the sink has a little rack in the bottom, so it basically serves as like a drying rack when we need to put our dishes in here. We can leave the dishes in here drying. You can even leave them in there while you're driving, which is great. A little bit of rattle, but no big deal. We've got storage underneath the sink, which is great. We can put everything like hand soap, cleaning supplies, laundry stuff, extra dish towels. Um, we even thought about making our cabinets the uh, handles a certain way so that we could hang a dish towel here instead of just having a knob. And you can see all of the cabinets have these awesome latches here so that everything stays closed. Super important when you're traveling to have a sturdy latch because especially things like drawers, which we'll show you in a second, they'll come open when you're traveling. So make sure you get good latches. This is the water pump. It switches to the back. And of course we have to be able to turn on the water and the pressures in there. Uh, and this one is the propane, of course, to make food and to cook. Um, we love our fridge. It's a domestic fridge. It's a, not a, a normal cooler, but an upright fridge. What is so nice about it, we have a freezer in there and we can make our own ice, which is huge, especially we're now in Florida. Uh, and it's hot and humid. So of course the ice is super handy if we want to make smoothies or want to uh, fill up our cooler uh, for on the beach. This is a really nice one. We saw this on other van, in other vans and we just ordered it on Amazon and it's great because they have already magnetic things in the, um, in the lid. So we just fill this up with all the spices and this is a magnet plate we uh, attach to this. It comes with the jars and uh, this is amazing with cooking. Maybe Nate should say this because this is a, this is a magnetic knife rack. Um, this it. comes later with the shower and uh, we just hang our keys here, it's very nice to not lose them. Go back to the cabinets, um, really important again and uh, this is also what you need because otherwise this never would stay up. This is all of our kitchen stuff almost, we organized it with plastic trays. Um, we made sure that everything what we bought was not breakable so we can drop this outdoor and it's fine. Um, those are bamboo, so we love those. This is a blender and coffee cups, and that's about it here. So now we go here to the drawers. We really need them because uh, the shower, we lose a lot of storage. So um, let's start with this one. It's very full with a lot of groceries. But it also fits a lot of in there. Uh, here also latches are very important. Otherwise this will go open when you drive and it will break your drawer. And here we have our 
cups and uh, pans and towels and other stuff that didn't fit anywhere else um, and all of our um, story, food storage things which is Tupperware Tupperware, <laughs> forgot it <laughs> So a few of the other things in the front of the van, obviously a lot of people use this. It's a lagoon table. We um, made this out of butcher block for our top and then you get the rest of the swivel mechanism from lagoon. So it's great. This actually swivels all the way out so we can put it and kind of give ourselves some outside space if we want to put drinks outside. Um, we use this and sit here. It perfectly swings by the door, which was kind of a happy accident, but it's great if we want to sit, work, it's also nice to have this chaise lounge here because either both of us can sit here or one of us can sit here. I love sitting here for work, especially in the morning while Mount's still in bed and it's just a nice space. You'll notice things like we strategically put plugs here so we can plug into our laptops and stuff. We'll talk about electrical a little bit more. Another thing that we want to talk about is this fan. It's great and you definitely have to have that in your van because we're now in Florida and it's hot. We don't have air conditioning, but this is great because this with the airflow uh, from the back windows uh, is amazing. You have a little breeze. Um, the good part about this, you can put it open even when it's raining and there's different settings. Uh, so you can choose how fast you want to have it. Plus also the, the air can go in and out. So you go out, of course, when you're cooking, that's why you put it here. And uh, in, of course, if you want to have a little breeze, which we go back to those windows, which are amazing because you can slide them open and close but the thing is this comes with a box screen and those both are from CL, all our windows and it's perfect at night we lay here we the breeze comes through the windows and we survive florida it's like having air conditioning it's almost like having air conditioning and another great part is um we have a screen there we ordered that on home depot custom size so you put it down and then we have a film night and this is actually just a window shade. Um, what very important is to have with this is a projector. We have it from the Bula uh, Android TV. So we put it on the table mostly here and it project right on there. And we have the perfect romantic van dinner night. Date night, Movie not night. dinner. <laughs> By the way, this is not sponsored. We just bought it ourselves. It's expensive, but totally worth it. Um, and you definitely should have that. Also a good tip, you can put this outside when you're camping with a lot of people and screen this, project this on the van so you have a big cinema night. For easy access to our stuff, we use every day but we don't really want to have it here in our living room. Uh, it's very nice to have this and to put all our stuff which is just a mess. And close it. <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> Our towels are in there, camera gear, uh, laptop bags, um, all that kind of stuff. Another thing is the curtains. We bought this thing uh, at IKEA and we figured maybe we can hang those between the blocks. And it's serious, the perfect solution. We bought the curtains at Walmart for like 10 bucks. And it's nice because we have window covers, I will show you later. If you're here in the living room, you can shut those curtains and it literally looks like your house. Then the floor. The floor, we're so happy with that. Uh, it's very easy. It's not that easy. It takes a while. But there's two layers of foam and then we put one big sheet of uh, vinyl sheet on top which some people do planks, but we wanted to have sheets so everything in this van is waterproof. And it's also super cheap. Uh, check out our YouTube video. We made a bunch of uh, van build videos uh, with all the materials, tools, step-by-step -step introduction, and um, it will help you. It's time to go to the back and show you the garage. Come with me. There's the garage, a lot of stuff, but maybe this doesn't seem organized. It's really organized for us. What are the good part of this is we both have our own uh, bin. You can also fold, but these are Nate's shoes, my shoes, 
Uh, we have yoga mats, uh, chairs, table, this is a drone, uh, propane, but Nate's gonna tell you more about all that kind of stuff. It's nice to have an open floor plan here uh, because you can stack and there fits a lot in there actually. We also bought some new chairs just at Costco. Those chairs are amazing because uh, you can fold them like this. So going to the beach and also for like, you know, storage. This is way, uh, way more convenient. Uh, on Amazon, they're like 90 bucks. At Costco, they are 30 bucks each. And the chairs look like this. <laughs> it's the wind, guys, it's the wind. They're so light. And they sit very comfortable. Uh, what I also want to tell is this. I think it's one of the most complicated i don't know looking at nate right now you yes see, it's so uh it's like you know high level carpentry uh what the most difficult part is those door actually like nothing in a van is straight or leveled and uh, not especially not those doors because they're like this and they're like this so um and this is all like custom made and shaped so very hard but we just put um a wood strip in between and nailed it everything in and it took us days. Right here we have some of the different systems that make the van run. So the first thing here, this is our water system. It's gonna be kind of hidden in the back there, but you can probably see the big tank. That's a 30 gallon water tank right there. Uh, looks like we need to get water sorted soon, but usually that lasts us three to five days at least. Showering obviously is gonna use a lot more of the water. One of the cool things is this is our water fill hose. I just latch it onto the top of the propane box, but it comes right off. These ties are great, super convenient, Home Depot. And then right. yeah. make sure you get a filter here. Uh, this filters the water from the source. So the first thing you screw on is this and then goes through the hose, fills up into the side. I'll show you this little side panel that we have in a second, but we've got a little door that opens so we can fill directly into the side of the van, also super convenient. And then right here, this is our propane box and propane system. If you just unlatch this, this has to be airtight for your own safety, but I made it so that we can basically just open this up and take this off and then take the front off right here. And that's how we get to our propane tank. Obviously you've got to do all your connections. There's a solenoid in there, but it's airtight. It's fantastic. We've tested it quite a bit to make sure. There is a propane alarm on the other side to make sure that if there was a leak somewhere back here in the garage, um, we would notice that. This is our gas pressure gauge. Obviously monitors all of the gas pressure throughout the entire van. Uh, we have our hot water heater right here. This is just a hot water heater that we got on Amazon. Gasland is the brand. And then on the other side, we have our electrical. So one of the things that you wanna keep in mind when you're building your water and electrical systems is the weight. So the water, water weighs roughly eight pounds per gallon. So with our tank, you could be at full, it'd be like 240 pounds. On the other side, we have our electrical system. We have three 100 amp hour lithium ion batteries. So it runs everything that we need. And then we have a 3000 watt Victron inverter and charger combo. You'll notice right next to that, this is our DC power system right here. I wanted to keep this towards the back of the van so I could access this in case I needed to change anything or if something shorts out or you need to change a fuse, keep that handy so you can get to it. Otherwise, it's gonna be very hard to fix anything. This is our shore power plug. So it's a 30 amp plug, so you can plug in. We built on the side of the van. You can just open it up like an RV plug in and it'll run the entire electrical system off of shore power, which is super cool. In the back right there, you can see that's our panel box for our AC system right there. So we can switch any of the fuses there, all that kind of stuff. The fuse panel in the back there is for our AC power. And the last thing that I'll mention in here is this plug right here, I would definitely recommend putting an AC outlet in your garage. It's super handy for us if you're into any kind of adventure sports. So we have two inflatable paddle boards back here and to power the air pump, I can plug right in in the garage instead of having to run an extension cable or something, inflate the paddle boards back here, deflate them with the pump, which is super convenient. If you had like bikes back here and you wanted to put an air compressor for your bike tires, 
you can plug right in in the garage if you have friends that want to charge things they can plug right in right there it's super convenient so definitely consider putting an ac outlet in your garage support for the bed is pretty straightforward we just used uh, three quarter inch plywood and we made these beams um, we did put a few supports in here and then obviously the boxes for the water and electrical system add some additional support ran all the cabling across the bottom of that it's a lot easier if you do the cabling underneath the bed versus doing it through the ceiling. That's an option you're gonna have if you build a stationary bed. If you have a convertible bed bench, might not be able to do that, but it makes it a lot easier. You can get to all of your wires. If you put everything in the wall, it's gonna be hard to change stuff if you ever needed to, so keep that in mind. One of the things we love in the garage is this garage light we bought on Amazon. It's got a dimmer on it. It's got a motion sense on it so that you can just turn it on and off with your motion activated or you can have it on all the time. It's magnetic, so it sticks to the side, which is really convenient. And the other thing we'll take a look at, this is the shore power plug. And over here on the side, right here is where we plug into our shore power. Boop, 30 amp plug, so you can power your entire van right off of shore power, especially great if you're at a camp spot. And on the other side, to go right into our water system, We've got a fill port right here. It's locked right now. I would definitely get something that locks so that people couldn't potentially put something bad in your water tank. This is how we open and fill our water tank. So we've got a little fill spout right here. And you'll see here, this is a vent. This just allows your tank to vent so that if you're driving or whatever, it makes sure that water can spill out if it needs to. Hopefully it doesn't. And you can lock your water and keep everything nice and safe. The only other thing I think to point out, we can't really see the solar panels on the top, but we have three 175 watt new power solar panels. That's 525 watts total. We kind of went overboard on our solar panels because it reduces the number of batteries we need, or you know, we can charge up so quickly that we hardly ever drop below, I think 80% is the lowest I've seen, maybe 75. Um, but if you have good sunlight, or even if you don't, get extra solar. It's cheaper than buying more batteries and it'll help you stay off grid, help you stay fully charged all the time. Hi, I wanna show you some lights. Those are amazing because um, you can change the direction. So we love like light vibes at night. We can play with those three, the two in the front, the kitchen light and with those. The nice thing is you can move them around. Uh, you can also have different settings. I don't know if you can see right now because it's light, but you have, of course, one, two, three, and then the red one if you want to read at night. You can charge also your phone in here. It's amazing. Okay, we're sweaty. I think we need to shower. One of the things we uh, got asked about the most is our shower. So we're gonna show you how it actually works. So the first thing you do is you open the countertop, you hook it in the wall, onto the wall, like that. Open the doors and then here's the toilet of course. For the thing you need a vent. This one uh, goes down to the bottom out of the van so it um, helps you uh, avoid having all the smells you don't want to have. So normally we just sit here and then they just make a cup and they're like hi good morning and then if you want to shower, we do this. So we put hooks here on the ceiling and um, here also on the shower curtain. Here is our shower head. Flip the other side. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Great. I made window covers. To buy them is 750 bucks or something. And I made it by myself, so it's way cheaper. 150 bucks, check out my YouTube video. I uh, show you how to step by step. We pop this in. Uh, it's very nice to uh, get the sun out, uh, let the heat, not let the heat in. Uh, and also when it's dark, of course. No, 
how we're gonna drive. So, of course this can be in because then Nate can see his dead corners. We make sure the, the room table is all the way stuck so it doesn't smash in the window. We put loose things away like this. Uh, we put this here. Candles also can be flying around. Don't leave knives here because if you break, we put them off because danger. And uh, that's about it, right? That's it. Don't let the knives stab you in the back of the neck. Very important. This was our venture. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, we always appreciate it. like, subscribe, and you can follow us on Instagram for all the daily adventures at Vanning Wilder. See you next time. Or see you on the road. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.